Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 51 of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we continued with this big Oron Sword side quest thing. And now, we have the prescription for big Oron's eye drops, we have to take them to King Zora. Seriously, what was that with that guy and like his R's and that one N for some reason? Whatever. I never understood that really. Whatever. Anyway, so we can't take Epona across the river, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to leave her there and go on without her to Zora's domain. And we're going to go talk to King Zora, I guess. Let's see. Looks like this place is pretty much the exact same as when we left. Yep. Uh, I feel like I've come here before. That's Well, that's because I have to get those two Skullshlas, obviously. Duh, dummy. Anyways, yeah. Oh yeah, I cut that trip back down Death Mountain because I just felt that was a waste of time. I mean, you saw me go up Death Mountain. Why, do, why would you need to see me go back down? It's just to conserve time because you... This quest can take a while. I don't want it to take like a billion videos, but that's what it takes. Anyways, we're almost up at Zora's Domain. Don't go to nighttime. I don't like it when it's nighttime. Nighttime is sh stupid. Okay, so we get up here. And we hop across here. Go up here. Oh my. Link, are you seriously that retarded? I guess you are, because look at where you are now. Okay, serious. I can't see a damn thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the Sun Song. Because I'm just lost in this water maze for some reason now. And I just realized that to get here quicker, I could have just warped, like, I could have played the menu at a forest and warped all the way, uh, and just warped to the, to the Lost Woods, my god. And climb, okay, where is the ladder to get up? Seriously, I can't find it. Is it over here? Yeah, oh my god, there it is. Wow, am I seriously blind like that? Whatever. I could have just warped using the Minnowed Forest and then use this shortcut right here to get up to here. Oh, well, too late now. Yeah, so. Yeah, we still have to play that to get into here. And surprisingly, it still works even after seven, seven years. I'm surprised I didn't think of an easier way to actually get in here, but whatever. This is still cool. We're parting the waterfall like Moses. Oh my god. Hop inside. Wonders away. What wonders will await us inside? Oh my god, it's icy. It's all frozen over. What the? How did this happen? Actually, I don't think they ever explain how it happened. I think it's just Ganondorf's doing. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go and see King Zorus. Oh, damn it! I forgot about the. Damn, I, he's encased in that red ice, so I can't talk to him or anything. So I can't do this right now. I have to do something back here before I can talk to him. God damn, I forgot about that. How stupid am I? Oh my god. Alright, well I guess we're doing that this episode. Uh, anyways, here's Zora's Fountain up here again. There's a little bit of ice up back here too. Uh, some icy platforms. Icy platforming for the win! Except for it's for the loss. Ow! Why are there Octoroks in here? Do they... I, they should hate cold water. Seriously. Ouch. You lucky bastard. I hate ice physics. Damn. Oh crap. I lagged out for there for a second, so I'm surprised I actually made that jump. Anyways, there's a piece of heart out here. That's why I'm coming this way. Yep. And that is uh, the first of four. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're hopping back across here. Like, I hate ice physics, but I hate swimming even more because it takes so long. So, that's why I'm using this these icy platforms rather than swimming over here. Anyways, so once you get over here, you can hop up into this area. And there's a neat little cave over here that we could not access previously. But now we can. And this is the ice cavern. Which is technically a dungeon since it has a map and compass and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, it's a neat little place. It's not... It's kind of, it's kind of annoying, actually. Oh my god, laggy. Anyways, oh, these guys. These guys can freeze you. They're annoying. They take three hits to kill. 
Nice. Oh my god. I almost froze. Die, please. There's a car alarm going off outside. I don't know if you can hear that. I hope you can't. Where did that come from? Ow. Where did it go? Ow. Stop hitting me, you stupid. Ow. Fuck. Ow. Ah. There we go. Yeah, you, have to, you do have to kill all those guys, as you just saw, to open this gate. Yep. Oh my god, my timer. I can't see it. Just a sec, guys. Uh, okay, we're still fine. Uh, I get heart here, I guess. Have a heart. Have a heart. Anyways. Nice long court. Ooh, this is interesting. We have to collect five silver rupees, I believe, here. I don't know, maybe it's six. But I already have four. And there's actually a sculpture right above our heads. You might have seen that, you might have not. But yes, this dungeon does have sculptures in it, just like any other dungeon. But unlike every other dungeon, this dungeon also has a piece of heart in it. Which is kind of surprising. That's kind of cool, though. Anyways... Jump up! Yay! Damn it, there's a gate blocking our way. Guess we have to get that last silver rupee there. Do the epic jump, Link, and don't miss! Like a retard. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah, I really don't like this place at all. But unfortunately, I have to do it. Like, this, you, you even have to do this in the story, even if you're not doing this quest. And you'll see why at the end of it. Anyways, now we have to work our way back around again for like, what, the third time now? And climb up here, and up here, and we'll continue to the last room of this dungeon. Well, technically not the last room, just the farthest back room. Actually, no, this is the second farthest back room. Because the farthest back room is back here. Duh. Yeah, it's this room. And I hate this room because there's ice keys in here. Fucking ice keys. See? Look at that! Look at that! That's bullshit right there. There. Thank you. Yeah, I really hate being frozen in this game, because that just sucks ass. So you want to avoid ice keys at all costs. Anyways, there's this weird blue fire here. This blue fire, it doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something. Yes, yes, we actually can. You can put it in a bottle. That's right, you can encapsulate fire in a glass bottle. And the bottle will not melt or anything. It's just gonna stay in there. A glass bottle that is plugged with a wooden cork, I might add, is not affected by fire. And the reason probably is is because this is blue fire, so it's cold fire. Yeah. Oh my god. Don't you dare. That was so close. Did you see that? I almost fell off right there. Anyways, the trick with this blue fire is that it can get rid of this red ice, like so. And we are going to need that to get, uh, to unfreeze King Zora, or to thaw out King Zora, rather. So, technically, we could just leave with this blue fire and then come back here later. But, uh, while I'm here now, I might as well finish this. Anyways, there's the dungeon map. Um, it's not a big dungeon, as you can see. Just one floor. Anyways, we're gonna go get um, some more blue fire in that bottle we just emptied. Oh my god! Damn it, Link, you couldn't grab onto the edge. Well, whatever. Two blue fires is plenty. Especially since there are other areas that you can get blue fires in this dungeon. Okay, looks like we're up to nine minutes. Oh my god, I lagged! I lagged! I don't know what's happening right now, and all I know is that I just got hit by something. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I almost got impaled in through the head by that freaking thing. A stalactite, I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's stalactite. Anyway, so we're back in this room. Now you can go over this way. Oh my god, duck. And you can use blue fire on this. Because this is red ice as well, as you can tell. As well as you can tell, this is red ice, I might add. Oh my god. Why am I? What am I talking about? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Whatever. Anyways, uh, there's more blue fire at the end of this room. Oh my god, so many stalactites! I'm scared, mommy. What are you doing? Oh my god, I don't want to kill you with a bottle. I thought I had my hook shot on that button. Ooh, 49 skulls. I just noticed that. 
Okay. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. What are you, a retard? I got blue fire. Oh, oh, oh! I got blue fire. Okay. So now you can come over here if you like. And there's bats on the wall. Well, keys on the wall, rather. Link, what are you doing? Look at him! Look, what, what the hell is Link doing? What was that, Link? Would you would you care to explain to everyone what you were just doing? Seriously, you were doing some funky Link dance or something. Anyway, so we're thawing out this red ice. What could be inside this chest that the ice was concealing? Find out next time in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.